Welcome to the world of Pokemon, a world filled with mystery and amazing creatures. It's also a lawless battlefield where the strong survive and the weak have no option but to get good. JK, JK, this is an Apedia video. But seriously, get good or my gauntra will wreck you. <coughs> Anyways class, today we'll be looking at the wonderful world of Pokemon, the class Phylogeny 101. Today we'll be tackling a common theory which is that Garchomp and Sharpedo are related. Before I begin breaking apart the theory, I want to explain what Phylogeny is. Phylogeny is the study of evolutionary relationships among organisms. It is most commonly seen by using this, a phylogenetic tree. Definitions aside, let's begin. Sharpedo is the brutal Pokemon. It's a torpedo shaped shark, duh. It is primarily dark blue with a white underbelly and two yellow star shapes, one on its snout and the other on its rear. Everything in its design, from its fins to its short rear, are made to make this Pokemon look like a torpedo. In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the Pokedex entry states Sharpedo can swim at speeds of up to 75 miles an hour by jetting seawater out of its backside. This Pokemon's drawback is its inability to swim long distances. 75 miles per hour is pretty fast. The fastest swimmer in the animal kingdom is a sailfish, which can reach speeds of up to 68 miles per hour, but it pales in comparison to actual torpedoes which can reach up to speeds of 370 miles an hour. Still, if you saw one of these in the water, you'd be in for a pretty bad time. Garchomp is a bipedal dragon Pokemon, which evolves from Gibble and Gabite. It is primarily dark blue in color with a red underbelly, and it has a golden star shape that adorns its snout. It has appendages on its head that make it resemble a hammerhead shark. It has sharp teeth, and it completely wrecks everything it comes across. Maybe except for fairies, but let's not get into that. What makes this thing even more menacing is that the goddamn thing flies. In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, its Pokedex entry states it flies at speeds equal to a jet fighter plane. It never allows its prey to escape. If you thought sharks were scary, try giving it legs and the ability to fly. Mother Nature is a different type of scary in the Pokemon world. Now, with the description that I just gave, it's easy to see why there are a lot of theories which say that Garchomp is a direct descendant of Sharpedo. However, this is completely incorrect. Just because two animals share similarities in the way they look does not mean that they are closely related through evolution, although this is a form of evolution known as convergent evolution. Convergent evolution is when two creatures that are not closely related develop similar traits due to their environment. Some examples of this are sharks and dolphins since they do not have a close relationship in the evolutionary tree. Sharks are fish and dolphins are mammals, but because they live in similar environments, natural selection has caused these two species to evolve similar features like a long sleek body to move swiftly through the water. Another example is the echidna and the hedgehog. They both have spines, and while they are often seen running together and ruining evil scientists' plants, they are not very closely related. Echidnas are monotremes, which lay eggs, while hedgehogs are eutherian mammals, which give birth to live young. Now what the similar environments were that caused a land shark to develop dark blue skin in a desert is a mystery to me. Perhaps Garchomp hunt at night? Mm -hmm. Balls in your court, Game Freak. Let us know in an updated version of the Pokedex. But it does make sense for Sharpedo. Its dark blue top half is great for getting the jump on prey from below. Since the dark blue half of its body would be able to blend in with the dark blue of the ocean. And the white bottom half would be able to camouflage them from below against the bright light coming through the water surface. Similar to penguins, just not as cute. Anyway, a big hole in the theory is that Sharpedo was based off a shark. Most of which, if not all, are chondrithes. Chondrichthys? Whatever. Chondrichthys are a class of fish with bony jaws whose skeletons are made out of cartilage instead of bone. The same material of flexible bones and noses are made out of. This reduces the weight and makes them more efficient swimmers. Fun fact, this is the reason that museums only display the jaws of teeth of ancient sharks. Their cartilage bones do not last very long. Sharks can get away with having skeletons made out of cartilage because the buoyancy of the water prevents them from having to support themselves against the full force of gravity. Well, I guess that's Pokemon logic for you. However, this skeleton would not be able to cope with the large tresses on land. So Garchomp, much like other land vertebrates, must have a skeleton made of bone. The problem here is that terrestrial vertebrates diverged from fish 3 million years ago, while bony fish and chondrichthys diverged 4 million years ago. That's a whole 100 million years that passed before the first fish decided to take a stroll on land. 
So sorry guys, but evolving Sharpedo to Gibble or Gonchomp would not be as easy as sprouting limbs and walking upright since the groups of fish that sprouted limbs were Ostrichthys, which are fish whose skeletons are made of bone. Chondrichthys and Oxtrichthys once shared a common ancestor, Nathostomes, which were drawed vertebrates. But somewhere along the way, the two classes of fish went their separate ways and sharks have been doing their thing ever since and haven't really changed much. Now, I can see a problem here. Evolution is a random process. There is no guarantee that the way sharks and land animals evolved in our world would be the same in the Pokemon world. I just really wanted to clear up this misconception in our world and share my two cents on the matter. There is a more plausible theory that states Carvana is the common ancestor between Sharpedo and the Garchomp evolutionary line. Carvana is based off of Piranha, which is an Ostrichthian, so the theory does have some problems with it. However, maybe Carvana evolved to have a cartilage skeleton to have greater speed. That would make it plausible for Carvana to then evolve legs and have shark-like features and give birth to Gibble. Gibble would then evolve into the massive monstrosity that Garchomp is. Oh, there goes the bell. So what did you guys think? Did I manage to dissuade you from the Garchomp is a descendant of Sharpedo theory? If you like what you saw, leave a like or subscribe. I'll be making more videos like this and it'll let me know that I'm doing a good job. If not, that's cool too. You don't have to. But after doing so much research on sharks, I think I have enough info to fully analyze Sharpedo and give some sweet facts on the animal that have inspired them. So, would you like to see a Bio 101 video on Sharpedo? Or is there any other Pokemon you'd like me to overanalyze? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next class.